All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So this particular video, as you can tell by the subject, why I use Linux probably 95% of the time over Windows. And again, this is for me. And this is going to be kind of an edge case thing because specifically what happened around this particular machine, I have an HP EliteBook 8760W. Now, this particular machine has what they call an MXM card which means the GPU is essentially upgradable. That's awesome. Appreciate it. It's great. I sent it to DOS Geek uh, because, quite frankly, anything above basic maintenance on my own machines that I'm not getting paid for, I don't want to do myself. So he switched out the card for a K3100M, which is like, yeah, or somewhere around a 765 or a 770M. I spent $35 for it. So... This particular machine runs Windows and Linux. To give an experience of how I view time, you always hear this whole, well, Linux is only free if you don't value your time. Well, in this particular case, I can say Linux is free and it freed me f to have time as opposed to Windows, which wasted my time. Linux, I boot into Manjaro, which is my, my preferred... Uh, distro for this particular machine so I have the most up-to-date apps awesome I literally go and uninstall the 390 drivers that my last card maxed out at uninstall those within the hardware selection install the 419 drivers reboot problem done Windows this is where Windows gets fun Windows can't detect the K3100 that's in the, the generic Windows updates. It can't detect it. doesn't have a generic driver for it. NVIDIA's own GeForce Experience crap software. Can't find it. Now, I'm doing this as a end user. So, I luckily, this is where I get beyond the end user. And I have a tool on Windows called uh, Driver Booster. Hit or miss on it. For the most part, for this particular machine, it has worked out well. So I had to use a third party tool when neither the official products of the either the OEM or the OS manufacturer could not figure out what card it was. I wasted a half an hour of my time based on stupid because of these particular <laughs> companies. Yet the third party solved it in however long it took to download and install it. Like yeah, Linux just detected the damn thing. Knew it was a K3100. Knew the NVIDIA drivers were there. And yes, the last the last stack of NVIDIA drivers were still there in Windows. So people want to know why I use Linux more than Windows. Windows is for the 5% that I can't do like specific gaming on because of, you know, easy anti-cheat or take your pick for like X game doesn't run via Proton or Lutris or whatever. That doesn't bother me. But I find it interesting. Now, granted, again, I'm an edge case that in this particular case where I thought Linux was going to be the headache, Linux was the easier of the two options. So my question to you guys is, have you guys have that kind of experience where Linux is just going to be the easier option sometimes and or have you had the experience where just windows is the easier option i'm just curious because like to me i found it intriguing because like you always hear that well again like i stated linux is free only if you don't value your time well in this case i valued my time and linux was the easy option as opposed to the one that i pay uh, I pay for with my privacy is the pain in the ass option, which is supposed to make me value my time. What's your experience? Well, I gave you mine. You guys know what to do. All the uh, Patreon, Indie Gala, if you want to support me, are down below. Uh, props to DOS Geek for jacking the uh, laptop and getting it fixed. Much appreciated, bud. And you guys know what to do. So I'll catch you on the flip. Peace.